today we are going to make some insects. And before we do, um, we are going to make a jar for our insects to go in. So we can look at them and study them and then let them go again out in nature. So the first thing we're going to do is draw an oval at the top of our paper. And it's not going to quite touch the top and it's not going to quite touch the sides, but it's going to be a long skinny sideways oval, kind of like a hot dog shape. Just like that, in the middle at the top of our paper. Nice skinny hot dog shape. And that's going to be the top of our lid. The next thing we're going to do is draw a line on each side. A line down on each side. That's the sides of the lid, so it's just a short little line on each side. And then we're going to take and we're going to draw a line that curves, just like this line does up here. We're going to draw one that curves to make those two lines touch at the bottom. The bottom of those lines are going to touch, just like that. So now we have a lid for our jar. The next thing we're going to do is draw two angled lines that come out the bottom side of our lid. So right here where this lid, this corner of the lid is right here, I'm going to draw a line that angles out and almost touches the side of my paper, but doesn't. See how that goes out? Almost touches, but doesn't. I'm going to do the same thing over here. It's going to start at this little corner here, and it's going to go almost out to the edge, but it's not. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down this side right here. It's going to go almost to the bottom, but not quite. It's going to leave about two fingers at the bottom. Leave about two fingers at the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Draw a line that goes almost to the bottom but not quite. It's going to stop at about two fingers from the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do is connect those two lines with a curved line, kind of like a smiley line. It's going to go just a little curvy, just a little curve down at the bottom like that to connect them. Now we have a beautiful jar that we can collect our insects in to study them and then release them back into nature. So before we do though, we have to make sure that they can breathe because if we put them in a jar, they won't have oxygen. So we're going to put some holes in the lid to make sure they can breathe. So I'm just going to draw little circles for holes in the lid, just in the top of the lid, not on the side at all, just in the top to make sure that they can breathe. And those are the holes. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a habitat for your animal, I mean for your insect, and you're going to make sure it has everything it needs to live in there for a little bit. So it's going to have some place to live and it's going to have food to eat and you'll draw your insect. Great job, kindergartners.